Hello. You know, I heard a lot of people say they can't tell the difference between sleuth and death trap. Well, I find that patently absurd and a little insulting. First of all, I played two totally different characters. In sleuth, I played a character whose voice and mannerisms were, were more like this. And in death trap, I played my author character, whose voice was, well, more like this. And if that's not enough for you, I mean, take a look at the sets. Totally different Tudor-type drawing rooms. In one, the entrance to the library was way over there on stage right. And in the other, I think it was Death Trap, the library was all the way over the other side of the stage, stage left. All right, similar furnishings are decorated, granted, but a totally different layout. And if you can't tell the difference between Lord Olivier and that other chap, what's the one, the, the one who played Superman, what's his name? Reed, Christopher Reed. If you can't tell the difference between those two, well then God bloody well help you. <laughs> no, that's not it. You know, I think it might be confusing people. Maybe it's that they were both plays Mystery and intrigue plays what got made into movies. And then, of course, I'm in both of them. That could be it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I remember. My agent made the deal on Death Trap before I even read it. Then when I read it, I realised it was the same bloody movie as Sleuth. It was just Sleuth without Diane Cannon. How am I going to get out of this? People have seen them both. They've both been released. They're complaining. I know. I need another one. <laughs> exactly like Sleuth and Death Trap. That takes place in a living room. Then I can say that it was a trilogy. <laughs> that it was planned from the very beginning, like George Lucas. People will buy that. They love Lucas. <laughs> Tom, get that bastard Neville on the phone. Tell him I've got to talk to him. You wait here. I've got an idea for my next movie. Tom! 